Hey guys, Sergeant P here, BullpupForum.com. We're at the 2019 SHOT Show. Andrew, hey. every year we do something fun with you guys. Hey, try to, yeah. yeah. So yesterday we got to shoot the uh, new KSG, the, the uh, KS7. 7 shot. Yep, right? KS7. Or KS7. Yep. Right? Um, ergonomics fantastic. Thank that, you. that skinniness, which obviously with a single tube, uh, really like it. Yeah. It, it, it just runs. But yeah, tell us a little great. about it, because it's it's uh, it's your new product this year. Yeah, so uh, we've been working on this thing for a number of years now, and uh, finally got you know ready to release, and uh, so we should be shipping uh, here in the next week or so. Um, the production will be a little low and slow at first until about May time when we can get that up to full speed, but. Uh, it's uh, it's basically just a, a single tubed KSG, like you were saying. All the controls are all the same. You know, it's full ambi. It's got the, the same, uh, you know, controls basically as the KSG does. Um, just thinner, more ergonomic. Um, it's got the, the built-in carry handle with the sight, you know, the light pipe and all on the top. Um, Which, let's stop on that for a second. Sure. That does come off. You can yep. run the traditional rail if you yep. prefer, for if it. you've got that, yep. or I'm the, even the aftermarket uh, stuff. The Mesa might be a little wide I'd, for it, but, yeah. but some of the others would fit that, that, that increase the height. Exactly. But this kind of does it for, for you, you and yeah. has the light pipe. Uh, so, and yeah, locks and all that good stuff It's, it's built good looking, in. too, with the yeah, carry handle. Thank you, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we get mixed uh, you know, feelings on that, but it was something that was, uh, you know, uh, affordable and it uh, you know comes out of the box with something unlike the KSG. Right. So, um, but yeah, it's it's basically like I, like we were just saying, it's it's just that. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it is uh, it's easy to pull the barrel and stuff out of it. And uh, so we got a, a, a 28 inch barrel ver version of that that'll be coming out, kind of more geared towards hunting and, and right. stuff like that. So longer so, longer barrel will be available as well as a longer tube. Yep and all that good stuff. Uh, there's some other uh, accessories that we got kind of planned as well, and I'm sure the aftermarket will take off on it oh, also. Of yeah, um, the ergonomics were great. It felt normal. I'm a KSG fan, so I run it a good bit, and it the controls being the same, I mean, it yeah. was very familiar. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Just that, easier that was, to top off. Yeah, you know? exactly. Right. Yeah, that, that was kind of our, our whole goal, was we wanted it to be familiar to the people that have owned you know KSG and other products of ours, you know, to where it fits kind of in that lineage uh, of our product. Um, and the other big thing about it too is that the MSRP on it's uh, 495, so you know it's it's going to be affordable. Um, you know something that goes against like the Mossberg 500, the Remington 870s, uh, stuff like that. But you're getting you know a good length of barrel and a super short overall package like we're kind of known for. Yeah. Um, wow. So sub 500. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So it's and and you said. Uh, you, what was the timing on it again? Um, so we should be shipping here in the next week or so, but uh, May of uh, this year should be when we're at like full capacity with the production right. and everything. Um, looking to do, I think, about 750 a week or so. Of them. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a good thing you all have yeah. the new facilities, right? Yeah. I say yeah. new, that's been years now. Uh, I mean, well, technically not new facilities or anything, but we're just still constantly growing each and every year, yeah. you know, adding more machines, adding a little more space here and there for you know, uh, just storage or, you know, part, you know, parts, vendor stuff. You right. Know? So it's, it's exciting, you know, every well, year getting a little bigger, doing a little more. You yeah. Know? So color availability. Uh, so it'll be the basics. Uh, we, uh, black, uh, the coyote tan and then the, uh, OD green. Um, but we also have a couple other colors that we're, uh, considering doing as right. well. There's a really neat, like nickel color. I, I really love that one. Yeah. It looks very futuristic, but it's, 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 uh, Kind of still like really elegant looking at the same time, right. but yeah, we got a, a you know I'm sure we'll have um, specific colors for you know certain distributors and whatnot, but yeah, Good. for right now it'll just be the black, green, and tan. Well, it's a, it's it's an exciting product. I, I like Thank the simplification you. of it. Okay, real quick, let's hit on any of the other bull pups. Any other updates on some of those things? Um, nothing really. Uh, just kind of getting uh, RDBs out the door more and more. Uh, still kind of working on some variants and stuff for it. So hopefully here um, in the next year or so we'll have some other cool, exciting stuff for that. But. You know, we'll see. Right. Uh, yeah, some of the guys on the forum have some specific questions, and it looks like maybe next year at SHOT Show we'll, we'll uh, have some of those answered. Potentially, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. well, we'll keep the rumors going until yeah. then. All right, Andrew, thank you very much. Of course, yeah. Always a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely.